Hello and welcome to Nursing Experts Translating the Evidence module about evidence-based nursing practice. In this module, we will be examining the role of the nurse in the application of evidence towards decisions impacting health systems and patient care in ambulatory and acute care settings. In this module, we will learn about evidence-based nursing, the significance of evidence-based practice, and how these concepts can be applied to impact patient care. Evidence-based nursing is the integration of knowledge derived from the literature, for example, case studies, patient reviews, quality improvement projects, and research studies combined with the best available nursing clinical expertise while taking into account the values and preferences of the individuals, families, and communities that we serve to make the best clinical decisions for our patients and community. Implementation of evidence-based practice guidelines has been shown to improve nursing practice and client outcomes, as well as reduce costs of standardized care. An evidence-based approach to public health could potentially have numerous direct and indirect benefits, including access to more and higher quality information on best practice, a higher likelihood of successful prevention programs and policies, greater workforce productivity, and more efficient use of public and private resources. There is now an overwhelming amount of new information generated annually, monthly, and even weekly. Health professionals cannot be expected to keep current by reading everything that is published. Instead, the evidence-based practice process teaches professionals how to find the information that they need when they need it. Evidence-based practice helps us answer questions to our nursing practice, such as how do we know we are doing the right thing? And especially in these difficult times, evidence-based practice helps us to make these tough decisions and gives us the confidence to make the right choice for our patients. Evidence-based nursing practice looks at research and also takes into consideration the following questions, such as what has been done? How did it work? And how can I use that information to help my client or patient population? Evidence-based practice goals involve the use of research findings in promoting understanding of patient and family experiences in illness and health, implementing nursing interventions to promote client health, and providing effective, efficient care within the healthcare system. The first step toward implementing evidence in nursing is recognizing the current status of one's own practice and believing that care based on the best evidence will lead to improved client outcomes. Evidence-based practice can only be successful in an environment that supports the implementation of EBP. EBP can improve practice and outcomes, but can also influence policies and the delivery of care at your clinical agency. This slide displays the steps in the evidence-based practice process. These include asking the compelling question. What do you see as the issue? Think about the development of your PICO question. In this step, you define the problem. In the next step, you search the literature to see what possible interventions might be out there to address this problem. You will then appraise the evidence. This is a critical analysis of the articles and evidence from the literature that you uncovered in your search. We will provide significant instruction in critical appraisal in later modules in the next series. Once you have completed the appraisal, you will select the intervention that best suits your problem, taking into consideration your available resources. As we learned earlier, you must also take into consideration the patient's values and beliefs and culture to assure compliance and acceptance of the chosen intervention. You will next develop the action plan for moving the intervention forward. Implementation, monitoring, and data collection follow this step. Finally, you will evaluate your results and prepare to share what you have learned with your peers, clinical agency, and others in your profession as you consider publication. 
As you conduct a review of the literature, you will find many different types of evidence, such as systematic reviews, randomized control trials, descriptive studies, and expert opinion articles. These studies will not have the same trustworthiness as others. The levels of evidence pyramid can assist you in determining what are the most reliable findings among their articles you are reviewing. Evidence hierarchies are systems used to rank evidence according to certain criteria. There are many hierarchies, including the examples on this page. Systematic reviews rank as the highest level of evidence, while expert opinion is among the lowest. For more information on each of these types of studies, please see the next Evidence-Based Practice Process page and Critical Analysis module. There are many advantages to using evidence-based nursing. Some of these include a higher likelihood of success when decisions are based on evidence rather than historical, political, or other pressures. By using evidence-based practice, common indicators can be identified and used to evaluate your project. New knowledge can be generated. Existing programs can be defended and expanded by providing evidence to support them and evidence can be used to advocate for new programs. In summary, the advantages of applying evidence-based nursing practice results in more effective programming, better policies, improved decision-making, and a better chance at funding, and also sustaining that funding and that program. Barriers to implementing evidence-based nursing include political environments. An Institute of Medicine article described that decision-making in public health is often driven by crisis, hot issues, and concerns for organized interest groups. I think we can all find examples of this when assessing the COVID-19 pandemic and how each clinical facility and nurses bonded together to tackle this overwhelming crisis. There are other barriers to implementing evidence-based practice principles in practice such as a lack of relevant and timely research, a lack of knowledge that may cause you to make an uneducated decision, a deficit in information systems, resources, leadership, and competencies can all interfere with the successful implementation of evidence-based practice. Additional resources to support this discussion can be found on the next Evidence-Based Practice Process page.